Hi guys, Kaika here. Today I'm in a 2017 Highlander Limited and I'm going to show you how to hook up your iPhone, this is an SE by the way, your iPhone to your Highlander. Now since this is a Limited, you will have Intune App Suite and Intune App Pre, oh, well Intune Premium, sorry. Okay, so what you're gonna do here is you're going to go to settings on your phone and you are going to go to Bluetooth. It should look like this. Now you want to turn your Bluetooth on just like this. You're going to have your finger right here on apps, click apps, go to setup, and then go to Bluetooth. You're going to click add, and then it's going to add your device. Now your vehicle should pop up high, uh, Toyota Highlander. You're gonna click that right there, and you're just going to wait so they can talk. Now it pops up right here. All right. Now on your screen, it's going to say uh, select devices to hook up and my device is named my name. So I'm just going to wait. It says I may need to allow it access to a few things. So we're just gonna wait to see if anything pops up. And you're just waiting. And it's just waiting for my device. So we're just gonna wait. I wish I had the Jeopardy song. This might take a little bit. Now I'm going to connect right here. Where it says show notifications, I'm gonna turn it on. Sync contacts, I'm gonna turn it on. Unless you guys don't want to, please turn it off then. All you have to do is swipe to your right. Well, it's going to be your left, but for me, my right. Now your iPhone, fa uh, well your phone favorites, your phone uh, recents, and then all contacts. So your phone is hooked up. Now we are going to go to our Intune app. And hi, Aubrey. Okay. So you're just going to connect it. Now it's going to ask you a couple of questions. You want to sign up. You do not have an account unless you did sign up with your uh, car salesman. But if you didn't, that is fine. We're going to set it up right now. So I'm going to click sign up. And it's going to ask me my first name and my last name. So I'm going to click that in. And then it's going to talk to me about my email. So you just, it's going to say email and then confirm your email. So I'm going to type that in. And then it's going to say password and of course confirm your password. Now it's going to say continue and it's going to ask you for your VIN number. Your VIN number is located in a few places. Of course your book that you received from your car salesman. If it's etched in your vehicle, of course it will be right here on your window. It will be right in front of you outside of course you'll have to look at it it'll be a little strip and a cool thing that a lot of people don't know it's actually in your door located right off to the side right here so now that you have the VIN number you just type it in to the little box and you click enter and now it's going to show you this screen so you can either disconnect it or connect it now since it is connected I'm going to hit apps on my Intune audio system. It's going to show me a few apps for my first home screen. Navigation, audio, eco, your drive easy, setup, phone, messages, and traffic. When you go to the next page, it'll show you weather, maintenance, destination search, iHeartRadio, movietickets.com. Pretty sweet. You can hook it up or you can get a movie ticket through your car. I mean, who knows that? <laughs> okay, uh, uh, open table. Now, open table, you can actually reser uh, reserve a lot of tables and other places um, at restaurants or anything located like that. Now, your Pandora. Your Pandora system will uh, hook up to your account if you do have one. If not, then we can quickly sign you up after this. And uh, your saved destinations, of course, iHeartRadio will kind of act like Pandora. So we'll just set you an up account like that. Well, I'll talk to you guys about this later. Now you'll have Facebook places and I'll actually show you who is where on your friends list, which is pretty neat. Pretty stalkerish, but pretty neat. Yelp, of course you can click in the place that you're about to go and to see reviews, comments, or anything like that, even the menu. 
Sports, let's say, um, hello, Super Bowl's coming up. Of course you want to see uh, who's playing against who or who's in the playoffs right now. Stocks, if anybody's into stocks, of course you want to see uh, what your stocks are doing right now at Wall Street. But uh, Wall Street's closed, so after this. <laughs> fuel guide, when you're in town, you can definitely see who has the lowest fuel in town which is pretty neat because I hate driving all over the place or when you're driving during the day and then later that night you're like oh man I need gas but who had the cheapest price again this will actually make your life easier and then slacker radio so the three radio places that I did say was iHeartRadio, Pandora and then slacker radio of course you'll need an account with them now with all of this we can actually go inside to the computer, type in intune.com um, intune slash Toyota, and it will show you your um, Intune screen. Now, it might be toyota.com slash Intune. Check the two places. Okay, so it'll show you. Then you'll enter your VIN, of course your number, unless you've already hooked it up through your phone. Then you'll just put your account in. Again, it will just show your email and then your password connect that real quick and then you can connect and link all your accounts to your uh, Intune suite app so Facebook iHeartRadio slacker if you have a Yelp account of course and then uh, Pandora of course so once you hook all that up there's your Intune system super easy this is how you connect it connect it and if you have any questions definitely give me a call I'm going to link our Intune um, link down below of course this is Stokes Round Toyota Buford and if you have any questions definitely give me a call if not then uh, definitely see you later thank you so much